Hello, I'm Autumn and welcome to On The Beat where we are joined with Amber Arcades. Hello, Amber Arcades. Hello. How are you feeling? Uh, Not great. <laughs> I'm good. I'm just a bit ill. You've had a bit uh, of a rough journey to get here today. Yeah, yeah, we had some slight six hour delay at the Eurotunnel in France and <sighs> only got a train at 6am and slept for three hours in a cold kitchen garage in a warehouse and... That's rock yes. and roll, I think. So rock and roll, but it comes with a price. It comes. So, um, <laughs> so you're well into your um, tour for your debut album, which is mm -hmm. Fading Lines. Yes. And how's it gone so far? It's Minus been great. The delay. Ah, no, it's. Uh, do you mean like this tour? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we just played one show yesterday. Oh, okay. So uh, it's just and that was really fun. That was in the Oslo in uh, London, which is a great venue. Uh, we played there. Sorry, <laughs> one time before. <laughs> Uh, we were supporting these other bands, uh, and so it's, it's real, real cool to get to headline that place. That's amazing. So have you played some more shows in the Netherlands before, just this year, 27 uh, January? Well, we did Eurosonic last week. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, but the year's only just started, really, so mm. not so yet. How did, um, how's the crowd compare in Netherlands to here? Any difference? Uh, uh, I like, I prefer UK crowds. Really? But yeah. What's the difference? They in the d in Holland people tend to cower in the back a lot. They They're just like hide away. Yeah, everyone just so it's like there's a couple of meters between the stage and like where people actually are. Like and the people are a bit back. more close. Uh, and uh, in Holland people just talk a bit more. It seems here I, maybe I'm just lucky, but here crowds always seem to be very like okay. listening and Engaged. just like. They're really quiet at like the, the times that they're supposed to be quiet. Yeah. And as they're as with your songs as well, there's bits you really want them to actually yeah, listen it's quite to it. And I guess it's it's tricky for, for a crowd because like some songs are a bit more up-tempo and, and others are more a bit like, uh, uh, yeah, s uh, slow and, and, and easygoing. So. But here people tend to like feel they're good audiences. Yeah. I mean, yes. I don't know what they're doing downstairs to t in response to the warm-up, but that's pretty heavy. So it sounds, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe some pogoing. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I hope so. And then, um, then, so you moved to this album, Fading Lines, mm -hmm. you actually recorded in America. Yeah, in New York. So, I've got this right. So you recorded it in New York yeah. on your own, completely, no label, one label. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you took it to the label to yes. have any records. That's, yes. What was that like, recording it by yourself? Was that was actually, I, I, well, I, it was kind of like a tactical decision, I guess. I just had this idea in my head that I was like, okay, well, I'm from Holland, you know, no one really pays attention. There's not like a super big scene internationally going on in Holland. So, you know, if you want to get out there, if you just, if you're just going to send demos to labels, they get like thousands of demos a day. It's yeah. You end up somewhere in a pile and no one's going to hear it. So I just figured, it and, I, and I had this money saved up anyway. So I just figured, okay, I'm just going to make it myself. And that way I also have all the creative freedom. I won't have people saying like, oh, you want this or this. Yeah. Uh, so I just get to make it entirely how I want, and then I'll see if someone's interested or not. Uh, I think that's getting more common nowadays, like more people yeah, making probably. their own, taking it to the labels rather yeah, than Yeah, I guess around. it's also a necessity thing because uh, with the internet and downloading and streaming and stuff, it's, like it's harder to sell records these days, yeah. I think. So labels are less keen on uh, investing loads of money for uh, yeah making a recording with a band. They don't know how it's going to turn out. Uh, and they don't know the band, so yeah. um, I you guess like yeah, exactly. If you exactly yeah. if you already finished the record, you can give them a finished product, and then it will be easier for them to see like yeah. this is it, and it's a minute. Yeah, it requires less of an investment from their side, yeah. I guess, and less of a risk, maybe. That's good. And then, so since you've that was <laughs> sorry, <laughs> okay. This is the rec so since you recorded the album, have mm -hmm. you been recording more with the label since? Yeah, we new recorded uh, some new songs actually last September. We were touring in the US with Nada Surf and we had uh, a couple of days off in New York. So we went back nice. there uh, in the same studio and with the same producer that we did the record with. Tough. With a different band though. Uh, is it quite like, so is it any different? Like you said about having creative control when you're recording mm -hmm. by yourself, but how much different is it having this whole label behind you recording uh, an album? It, it, a bit. Like the initial stages were fine because they didn't. Uh, yeah, they didn't have anything to say about that in the first, like the recording and stuff. But then with the mixes, there was some going back and forth. Like, uh, yeah. of course, you also want them to be happy and enthusiastic yeah. about it. Uh, but only in a later stage where when it really comes to like mixes and track list orders and stuff like that, they, they get involved. Yeah, that they're, they like to be involved in it. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah, I think that's actually really good because, you know, it's always nice to have more people listen to it and yeah. 
think about it. it. And of course, they're like experienced with it as well. They they have radio in their mind as well. Of course, like what's mix wise, what's gonna work. So it's uh, it can't hurt. But is this style pretty much gonna be very similar? There's no, they haven't changed. Yeah. They haven't got there. No, no, no control on that. They weren't like we want you to make this kind uh, of song. Yeah, so they were. No, no. Like, you know what you're doing. Carry yeah. on. That's good then. So that hope. Do you have a new one that'll come out maybe? The EP? Yeah. Uh, we're 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 kind of like aiming for end of April, I guess. Yeah. Uh, it just also depends on like how fast we can get the vinyl and stuff. Mm. Uh, but that is the plan, end of April, kind of. And that'll be a worldwide release. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah. And then, so this tour finishes. So you hope yeah. to get that in April. Anything else planned for 2017? Uh, we just announced uh, today that we're going on tour with Granddaddy. In tour, sorry. Uh, on tour with. Oh, tour. Uh, yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry. On tour with uh, Granddaddy. They're like this. Oh, nice. Do you know them? Yeah, they're no, kind no, of no. like older, I guess. Like, uh, yeah. I think they're records from like they're quite big. Uh, yeah. yeah oh yeah, nice, yeah. yeah. They're playing like really, really cool rooms like the Roundhouse in London and stuff. Uh, oh, that's gonna be so nice. The yeah. Roundhouse, that's complete. So we all. Yeah, is it good? Yeah, I've, really I've only good. seen pictures, but it looks very magical. So you won't have the problem of people being too far away there. They'll yeah? be right oh, all good. the way around you as well. Sweet. So, yeah. Well, we're gonna do that. That's gonna be like uh, March, April. So I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. And for the rest. I guess it depends on how the EP is going to be received. Uh, I would love to do some more festivals. I'd love to go uh, to other places in the UK more. <laughs> I mean, I love the UK, but... Uh, summer, you want to come here in summer. You've been, you've been here in October. Yeah. You're not got the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do some more summer festivals. Yeah, and I'd love to go more to France because we didn't. We went to France a couple of times, but I really like it there too, so I'd love to do that more in Italy, Scandinavia maybe for the first time. Uh, it's like I'd like to travel to places this yeah. year. Well, thank you very much and good luck with, with Thank that you. Then. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>